Dylan, you have recently opened the gallery in Dubai. So why Dubai? Why is Dubai exciting for Dubai. the art business? Dubai is exciting because Dubai is a new hub in a, in a region, the Middle East, uh, where a lot of things happen in the area for, for the culture, for the art. I mean Dubai, but not only Dubai. Dubai is the gate for Saudi, is the gate for Sharjah, where you have all the foundations. It's the gate of where, uh, Abu, uh, to Abu Dhabi, where the Louvre is since a few years, where other museums will open. So things are moving, and I think to, to open this gallery in Dubai, um, uh, allow us to be more involved into this area, into the Middle East, and to be more close to this museum and prayer foundation. But how, why to open so many galleries all over the world? Um, uh, it, it's, it's a good question. And for the artist, to offer to the artist to, to exhibit, you know, in Los Angeles, in Shanghai, in Asia, they will be ha very happy, you know. And most of the artists, for example, in Dubai, never exhibit in, in Dubai. Uh, look at uh, last November when we opened the gallery. Even Takashi Murakami, it was the first show ever in the UAE for him. So he was more than happy to make it happen. So that's what we are really new. But you need to sell more and more. It's crazy, right? It's crazy, but we need that, of course, yeah. But we have like um, more than 80 artists. So yeah, so we can, we can do it and we have to do it for, for the artists. And you have more and more foundation, more and more collectors. So everything rubs together, which means- And uh, Saudi is a big buyer now? Uh, yes, of course, big, uh, big players, uh, big collectors, and a lot of museum projects, even the desert in Riyadh, but in a different places in Saudi. So now it gets to be... But is there collectors? Uh, yes, a few. And believe me, we sell to not only to the royal family and the, and the government, we also sell, sell artworks to Saudi family, not involved in the business of the government. So yes, but... We need to improve that and we need to develop that and they want to learn as well. And to learn and so you are showing here? Jeremy Demester for the first time in the UAE, so he was very happy as well. Yes. And the gallery with the different series, the hotel series, the assembly objects. And why does it work with uh, Dubai? Oh, Jeremy. I think Jeremy works in Dubai but also in Paris and Hong Kong in Shanghai. You know, I, I'm not sure it's only about Dubai things but it was a great opportunity to, to make it happen together for the first show. Um, so, yes. Yeah. It's very spiritual, no? It's very, of course, when you see all the, all the eyes, all the masks, all the, the, the different mythology from the, from the great mythology or from the African spirit with the guru because Jeremy is based in Benin. So it's something very important to him, you know, to, to get involved and to look the world behind you. Yes. Her name is Mimi, but she's so powerful, Mimi. You have Mimi just above your, your head and I'm sure you, you feel something with Mimi. But Mimi Full seems very Italian. But that's true, because, ah, okay, can I tell you a little story? Yes. When I've been to Napoli, to the foundry, where a part of the artwork were produced, I've been with Jeremy in a restaurant in Napoli, and the name of the restaurant was Chez Mimi. And ah. it was my favorite artwork, so he said to me, okay, let's call, let's title this artwork Mimi. Because of Chez Mimi in Napoli, Jeremy Demester in Dubai. It's, it's funny. Merci. Merci, au revoir.